The average value of a house today in Prince Edward Island is $367,200. And the two most common searches are for Prince Edward Island weather and PEI maps. I'm going to be covering both of those and a lot more in this short video, but before I do, be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell symbol beside it, and give the video a thumbs up. By far the most powerful tool I use pretty well on a daily basis is the PEI Provincial Map Utility. I've made a video of this utility because it is so extensive, it does so much, but one of the most powerful features is you can type in a PID number, which every parcel in PEI has, and it'll bring up a map. PEI Agriculture has released a mobile app mapping utility that allows you to walk all over the island, but what makes this special is you can see the property lines on the map as you walk around. Google Maps, Google Street View, and Google Earth Pro are three of the most valuable tools we have. Google Earth Pro will actually give you a little more detail than the online versions. Bing Maps from Microsoft, I find, have aerial photos that are just a little more updated than Google from time to time, so I usually check out both of them. Island Trails is a volunteer-based organization that helps maintain a group of trails all around Prince Edward Island. The Watershed Identifier allows you to map the entire island and find out if and how much erosion is in any coastal area. Geolink is a paid service, however, if you want all the detailed information, deeds, surveys, tax amounts, it's all on Geolink. The PEI Road Atlas is awesome, it's super interesting, and also offers some historical items about the island. The Department of Agriculture has an awesome mapping utility that will show you all kinds of things in far more detail, including soil types, which is handy to know if you're building a house and you're putting a septic system in, or you want to find out how much of the land is actually useful. PEI road conditions, particularly helpful in the wintertime. The best source of weather in Prince Edward Island, as far as I'm concerned, is Environment Canada. To see the complete list of mapping utilities and some government resources offered by the PEI government, check out the link on the screen. Be sure to check out the description of this video for a long extensive list of these links and more. Thank you very much for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell symbol beside it, give the video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions about PEI real estate or Prince Edward Island in general, put them in the comments below.